We are in Rochester, New York, visiting Wegmans, a prominent supermarket chain in the Northeast. Wegmans has 76% of their fleet today that is non-diesel, with the goal of reaching 100% by 2026. As part of Run On Less Messy Middle, we will be featuring a Peterbilt natural gas truck, which will be hauling two 48-foot trailers up to 140,000 pounds in the hilly terrain of New York. Wegmans is a family-owned business with sustainability at its core. I've been working at Wegmans since I was 18 years old. It's a great place to work. One of the neatest things about Wegmans is everybody is on a first name basis. There are no last names. Um, I'm not the only Danny here, um, <laughs> but I'm one of them. We want to be an innovator, not a follower. We always want to lead the charge on doing the right thing. You see it in our stores, you see it in our distribution process, and I think that our initiative for cleaner fuel is a, is a great example of that. As far as our truck makeup, we really have a Class 8 tractor fleet. That's primarily the trucks that we use for store deliveries. We used to be 100% diesel with our tractor fleet, and at that time we were really working on the diesel efficiency of those trucks and less looking at alternatives to diesel. That's totally changed now. Uh, we look at CNG as a nice alternative for diesel tractors. And today we're 76% diesel free with our tractor fleet. And we're really proud to say that. We're definitely uh, looking forward to being 0% diesel uh, here in the next year or so. We don't really have any concerns for being 100% natural gas, obviously. We're always looking at what rules and regulations the government makes, you know, as they look to go 100% electric. That is actually a bigger concern than for us from a natural gas standpoint. It obviously was very cost efficient and much better for the environment. Driver input is very important. Those early version CNG tractors that we had here in Rochester, uh, they certainly had some issues with transient response between the engine and transmission, just not shifting very well. You know, we worked with the drivers and we worked with our OEMs to try and come up with a match that worked. And so now with the Cummins 12 and 15 liter and the Allison transmission, anything a diesel can do, we can do with the CNG truck. So whether it's a heavy grocery load or a heavy produce load, you know, we can do all of that with these CNG trucks. We're able to now do the tandem work, which we do to our Erie and our Boston locations. We do tandem, and that was the biggest key that we were missing. That 15 liter, you know, that extra power is very nice. Before we had them certified as tandems, we were using them as just a regular truck in the hills in Pennsylvania doing some of our warehouse to warehouse deliveries, and the guys were loving it. You know, the increase in the power, you know, it was tough to get them back out of it, you know, once they became tandems. I used it for about a week, and then I went back in my other truck, my diesel truck that was signed to me, and I didn't like it anymore. I liked the newer trucks. It just was, the technology was so much more advanced than the newer newer vehicles. I like the ride, the quietness, the smoothness of the truck. It uh, pulls up the hill decent, just as good as uh, diesel. So the X15N is what we call our helm product. Higher efficiencies, lower emissions, and multiple fuels. That means that when you buy this truck with a 15 liter natural gas today, next year when you buy this truck with a 15 liter diesel, that same mounting and all that that the OEM goes through will be exactly the same because the block, crank, and rods are all going to be the same. And that allows OEMs to engineer in one size engine into their chassis. It allows customers to have consistency between products, but it allows us as a manufacturer to have consistency amongst products as well and not have a specific natural gas engine or a specific diesel or a specific hydrogen, a specific gasoline. It doesn't matter if we build all these on the same platforms it adds that consistency that we need. With natural gas, your, your biggest enemy is heat and you're, you're trying to deal with that at all times. The 12 end product is just better engineered to deal with that heat. So the reliability went up. And then with the redesign of the 15 liter, which is very different from the 12 liter product in general, it's, I believe, better able to deal with that heat. Probably the key thing is there's a 75C reduction in temperature of the top side of this engine which adds to durability of things like cylinder heads, exhaust manifolds and turbos, but also heat rejection to the coolant. CNG trucks do not like idling. We really gauge these trucks more on run hours than we do on miles like you would with a diesel. So every hour that these trucks run, 
where you're not cooling the engine by driving down the road, it can be, you know, really a problem for these, these CNG trucks. So very important to keep idle time down, not only for health reasons for the tractor, but also, you know, still for emissions reduction and noise reduction in and around our stores. With the natural gas trucks, they pretty much have enough capacity to get to Albany and back or to Erie and back without having to refill. But a lot of the guys, you know, if they're completely full, they'll take their first trailer to the exit, come back, top off just as a precaution, and then go back out. But they do have the 500 mile capacity, and that is pretty much the max that we drive um, per day. So there's not a lot of route modification going on. I would say the one adjustment now is that drivers are fueling their own trucks at the natural gas station. So we actually try to purchase renewable natural gas to try to make it even that much better for the environment. Across our network of nearly 70 stations nationwide, 100% of our gas is actually renewable natural gas that we flow to our customers. Derived primarily from landfills and dairies. So this is a fast fill public fueling station. It's a three lanes, three dispenser station. With the fast fill stations, we typically have much higher horsepower compressors and flow rates along with more storage so we can get much faster fill times. I mean, if no one's there, I'm in and out of there with under 10 minutes. Change isn't easy for everyone, especially if you've been driving for a company for 35 years and you've basically been in the same vehicle or a very similar vehicle for a long time. But uh, our drivers have been willing to, you know, change for the right reasons, but it's our job to make sure we deliver a truck that can do the job, not just change for the sake of change, but change for a reason and making sure that they can still do the same job they were doing before with diesel without any significant changes to the operation. So that's our promise to them. And I think we've delivered with these trucks.